Hello, this is Dr. Christy Patton Lukes, a chemical engineering professor at Missouri S&T. We are looking at uh, estimating manufacturing costs for chemical plants based on Chapter 8 out of Turton et al.'s textbook. In this lesson, we're going to be focusing on electrical costs. So electrical costs are going to be based on $2,001, about six cents per kilowatt hour, or $16.80 per gigajoule. Most of the time, we're going to really need to focus on look at your pumps and compressors. We're going to need electricity there. Now there's going to be some issues because we're going to have a fluid power. How much energy do I need to provide to the fluid? But there's an efficiency to our pump or compressor that means we're actually going to need more shaft power based on that thermal efficiency or mechanical efficiency of the device. We also, however, are going to have to have something that's going to turn the shaft, and that's going to be a drive, and that's going to have its own efficiency associated with that. So we're going to take our fluid power, we're going to divide by the efficiency to get a shaft power. Now we're going to take that answer, divide by the drive efficiency to get the drive power. And the drive power is what we pay for. Typically your process flow diagram will give the shaft power, but be careful because a lot of times people just calculate the fluid power and don't remember to think about the efficiency of that pump or compressor. We usually in our thermodynamics courses don't think about the drive for the motor of this pump or compressor. Typically, if they're brand new and operating at fairly full load, then they're going to be pretty efficient, about 96% efficient. But over time, they're going to decline. And if you're talking about an older drive, it's going to be less efficient. So, you know, something that has, is not like out of the antique barrel, it probably is going to be more like 85 to 90 percent efficient over time. Um, I actually have seen in some unit operations labs and um, various campuses drives that were much lower efficiency than that, however. Now we can usually get this data from talking to manufacturers or using information off of a website, something like that, for the equipment we purchased. This graph here shows drive efficiency along the vertical axis and the horizontal is the shaft power for various sorts of drives. So an electric drive, if you're using steam or a gas expander, or an internal combustion engine or a gas turbine. And so you can get some pretty good estimates. Most of the time we are using electric drives, but there are times when, especially like if you have a lot of extra steam in your plant, you may choose to go with a steam drive, which will be less efficient, but it's material you already had, therefore it's free. Another utility that we want to go ahead and talk about is fuels. We're going to have a lot of heating uh, units, furnaces, and so forth. The fuel we choose to use is going to make a very big difference in the cost. Okay, Fuel costs are going to be more volatile than most of our other expenses. These are graphs from 1996 to 2010. And if you look at this, you see that these things can really vary a lot. I mean, look at this graph here. It went from being one of the cheap things to being incredibly expensive. Now, it's going to depend sort of on where you are located as to which fuel is going to be the best choice. Natural gas is a nice choice because it's the least damaging to the environment of these options. Coal is cheap, but it's probably about the worst for the environment. Fuel oils 
and number two fuel oil is more common than number six fuel oil. Um, fuel oils are nice because they are compact sources of density, not quite as compact as coal, but still compact and they can be cleaner than coal. So these are gonna be kind of what you're going to see. Sadly, the one that's most commonly used is also the one that is the most volatile. So in our next series of lessons, we're going to come back and look at some of the other utility costs, and we will next be looking at steam. Thank you very much for your time.